Good afternoon. Hi, I'm Sarah Hampson. Um, I'm thrilled to be uh, talking to you today uh, about my book. I don't uh, have an image of it. I don't think, up on the screen, but uh, you can see it in the back. Um, it's called Mothers, Military, and Society. Um, and in no way uh, uh, is this a sole project. This is a collaborative, interdisciplinary, intersectional work. Um, and I'm really thrilled to be here kind of, oh, thank you. Tron's going to display it like Vanna White. <laughs> um, I'm excited to take part in promoting this book and the voices that are represented in this book. Um, I came to the topic of motherhood as a scholarly endeavor um, and the military through my research on my first book, um, which they also have back there, um, The Balance Gap. Um, I began researching and writing about motherhood uh, and work 10 years ago as a graduate student when I started thinking about becoming a mother myself. Um, my, interest in mother, in, my interest in motherhood in the military um, and their kind of cross-section stems from the experiences First with um, kind of seeing my brother and his family navigate uh, the US military, um, but it actually grew from there as a case study for, for my first book, um, which focused squarely on the experiences of mothers serving in the US military. For this volume, though, um, I joined a team of editors that are really exciting um, who approach this topic from incredibly different perspectives. Um, from the very beginning, we wanted this project to be one that not only featured the voices of mothers serving in the military, but all different kinds of ways in which the concepts of motherhood and military overlap and intersect um, and are in conversation with one another. So my co-editors um, are Udi Labelle, a sociologist from Israel's Ariel University, whose research focuses on motherhood and bereavement at a time uh, as a theme in Israeli military and civil discourse. And Nancy Tabor, who's an education scholar from Canada's Brock University, whose research focuses on ways of learning um, and, and specifically around gender and militarism. So really different perspectives. Um, and really, if you notice, political science, sociology, education, really interdisciplinary. So the book is divided into two sections. In the first section, we see the book as contributing some really important theoretical work to a too sparse literature on motherhood and military as um, mutually constitutive concepts, meaning kind of concepts that really shape the meaning of one another when they're um, in conversation. So we have chapters that explore mothers and military from the perspective of mothers of people who are serving in the military from the perspective of mothers who serve in the military or have served, and the, from the perspective of kind of militaristic culture or militarism and its impact on mothers and mothering. Um, so the chapters contribute much needed theoretical groundwork to this literature on motherhood and military. Um, I'll put in a quick plug for my own chapter in this section, uh, which looks at the news coverage of mothers serving in the US military including that of two women from Fairchild Air Force Base here in Washington who caused a stir by breastfeeding in their, their babies while in uniform back in 2012. I don't know if that's a familiar story to some. Um, and I, I ask, you know, what kinds of impact these sorts of high profile coverage, um, news coverage of moms in the military has on policy creation and implementation for women, uh, mothers who are serving. So that's, that's kind of my my contribution to that section. The second section of the book is dedicated to narrative. Um, and this is, again, where it's very interdisciplinary. These chapters um, are largely memoir or autoethnography, um, and they're accounts of the intersections between motherhood and military, again, from different perspectives on this relationship, including the account of a son whose mother served in the military, who is an academic, and talks about that perspective on his academic journey, um, to the accounts of women who, who are serving while mothering. Um, one quick note about our press, too. I feel like I'm kind of just plugging the book right now. Um, Demeter is a small, independent feminist press that's committed to publishing peer-reviewed scholarly work that focuses on mothering. In this way, it is really a unique press um, and has been an instrumental part in really getting research on motherhood and mothering out there into the mainstream. It's a really fantastic press that I really encourage you to support. Um, so there, I, I don't feel so self-promoting in, in promoting the book. Um, it's a really excellent press. Um, and uh, so I, ho I hope you'll pick up the book. Um, there's something there for everyone, the academic as well as the lay reader, um, to appreciate and admire about the ways in which motherhood and military are concepts that are in ongoing conversation with one another um, and which both have a huge impact on the societies uh, in which they reside. So thank you very much.